character here. He is he is fantastic. Courtesy of Pixel Boy. Appreciate that quite a bit. All right, all right, folks. For now, I think we're ready to go. I think we are ready to get started. Let us go with the uh, the first ever live broadcast, I believe. If I'm well, okay. Besides Alessio Stone, my first ever live broadcast. That much I know for sure. Of Master of the Grid. Can you describe what I'm watching in exactly 37 words? Sure, let's try. Master of, Master of the Grid is a multiplayer online trivia game show made by Elise, creator of Spelunky Death Roulette, in which you are presented with questions ranging from true and false to multiple choice, and you must decide upon the correct answer. Winner gets some gribbles. Yay. Boom. There you go. Um, oh, gribbies. Sorry, not gribbles. Gribbies. So there you go. That's it. Let's go ahead and start off. We got a full room. And we got a subscription from Deadwolf225. Get in here for that bear hug, buddy. Right there. Look, you got a, a virtual one. I wish I could make him do the bear hug. That would be fantastic. But here you go. Boom. Hugs for you, buddy. You got it. All right. Let's do it. Master of the Grid. Let's start the show. It's exciting. It's exciting. Let's do it. Oh, man. I've been so, so hyped for this. Here we go. Start the first challenge. What animal produces the loudest noise relative to its size? The pistol shrimp, the howler monkey, the water boatman, or the Screaming Toad. Cast your vote. Not really a vote, I suppose, but more of a selection of the correct answer. Let's see who's got it. We got three seconds left. The correct answer. Water Boatman. Water Boatman, the correct answer. The Pistol Shrimp was it a, was a uh, tempting one from what I saw. Uh, by the way, as we're uh, waiting for the challenge to follow through here, go to the results. Real quick. Let's see who answered correctly. Ooh, goodness. Oh, no. Oh, two, two out of uh, 40 thus far. Jordan and uh, Julie managed to get the correct answer here. Wow. So you have three lives, by the way. So don't think that you're already out. You've only lost one life if you're among the uh, participating crowd. And Julie Girardi was the fastest to answer correctly. Well done, Julie. I would have gotten that one wrong, too, I'll be honest. By the way, uh, before we get into the next challenge, just want to say real quick, uh, those of you in the chat, I have both the uh, I have both the chat open for the Twitch stream as well as the uh, as well as the Master of the Grid page. I would ask kindly that you guys refrain from entering answers into the chat. Also, of course, please refrain from googling the answers as that's just not fun for anybody. So, without further ado, then let's go on to the next challenge. In Rogue Legacy, the video game Rogue Legacy, what does the Hyperion's ring item do? Makes more gold drop from enemies, makes more gold drop from chests. When you die, it will revive you once at full health, or when you die, it will revive you once at 25% health. Five seconds left. Do you do Sudoku, Ice Blaze? I used to do Sudoku. Not too much anymore. The correct answer. The Hyperion's Ring, when you die, revives you once at 25% health. Who got it? Ooh, we got some... Mixtures of excitement and horror in the chat. Let's check out the results. See who got this one. Oh, we're gonna We're gonna start losing some people pretty soon here off the top row. That looks bad. Oh My goodness you try to make an NLC. I saw that look. Yeah, I saw that one. That was a well, It's a it's a good resemblance. I think There we go, and a Luke was the fastest to answer correctly. Well done Luke Very good all right, we're into question three. This could be the moment in which we start to lose a few folks. Let's see what happens. Let's start the next challenge. Which author wrote Where the Red Fern Grows? Was it Jack Miller, Laura Numeroff, Wilson Rawls, or Barbara Park? We shall find out. Ten seconds left. Oh, you can't select an answer, so one. Oh, uh, try refreshing the page, maybe. That'll perhaps do the trick. Would do it for you. Did you get it right? Let's find out. Wilson Rawls is the correct answer. Let's see who got that one. We might start losing folks. Oh, and they're bouncing out like flies. Oh, no. 
Oh my goodness, we lost a lot of people on that one. Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh, no, NL's in here as well. What's going on, buddy? Fastest answer provided by Mark O'Banterbury. It's the fastest to answer correctly. It looks like we've lost maybe half of our participants <laughs> off of the Redford Grows. My goodness, I can see your comment, Conman, yes. I can see uh, everyone. I see it all. My goodness. How many did we lose? I wanna, I'm going to wager a guess and say that we lost approximately 30 people there. That was... That was a doozy. All right. Next challenge coming up. Again, I'm just... Uh, just so you guys know, I'm uh, just verifying our uh, challenges coming up here just to make sure we got good stuff coming up. So, all right. Next challenge. Away we go. We have our first true and false question. In the Green Lantern universe, there was a rainbow lantern reserved for charters that have mastered all seven of the emotions in the emotional spectrum. I think that might mean characters, but I'm not entirely sure. Is that a true or a false statement? Seven seconds left. I used to watch this game show as a kid. Nice, BMG. That's impressive considering it didn't exist back then, but well done nonetheless. I am now breathing manually. Oh, God. That is a false statement. Not exactly sure why. Let's find out who got it right. Oh man, lost a few more off the top row as well. Baconator, Golden Lombax, Professional Scumbag, and Guest 15300. Surviving up there. Van was the fastest to answer correctly. Got your fancy little crown there, Van. You gotta love it. It was Trolls. Yeah, that was also true. It's also true, and it's also Trolls. We gotta get down here. There we go. The ejections. We got anybody with three hearts still? Let's have a quick look here. We got one heart, one heart. Oh, man. Oh, man. Folks surviving by the skin of their teeth up here. We got anybody at the full, uh... Full life bars yet? No. None that I can see. My goodness. All right. This is gonna get intense. Up to the last moment. Let's see it. There's a white lantern for that purpose, not a rainbow one. Okay. See? Good to know. All right. Next challenge. Let's do it. What is the population of Liechtenstein? As of 2014, this is just your best estimate, by the way. You don't have to get it exactly right. Hammerschnitz beats you, indeed. Secretly playing on an account that doesn't resemble my Twitch name. Oh, snap, B-Rex. Tell you what the name is I'm playing under is when someone wins. A.K.A. when you win, right? I'm sure. What is the population of Liechtenstein? Your best estimate. Let's see it. Let's see it, folks. I gotta get my auto scroll going on over here. I can't get it. Yeah, this one's pretty cruel. <laughs> Between 36 and 37,000. Oof. All right. Anybody? Hey, we got one. We got two. We got three. Dang. We're down to seven, I believe. Guest 15300 up there. Killing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight players left. My goodness. Dithy Rambus. Hello there, buddy. Whew. That was a toughie. <laughs> Alright. We got one that I think may be, uh, may be a little bit more familiar to those of you in the audience today. So, let's try this one out. What was the earliest gaming console? Was it the Atari, the Video Entertainment System, Magnavox Odyssey, or the Famicom? 13 seconds. Within 500. That was, yeah, that was, uh, that was a bit of a brutal one. But this one I hope a few more folks are maybe slightly more familiar with. Let's find out. Did you get it right? The answer, the Magnavox Odyssey. Who got that one? Let's find out. Oh, we booted a few. We're down to four. My goodness. Arcasus was the fastest to answer correctly. Of course, I gotta let you guys know. Winner of today's shows, the winners of today's shows, rather, uh, get 1,000 gritties each. Uh, people who lost during the last round get 150. People who lost during the round before the last round, or the, you know, second to third to last round, I guess I should say, get 50. Everyone else gets a gritty for playing, so keep that in mind. We've got our next challenge on the way. Let's do it. Hello, Jeff. How you doing? J.K. Rowling, author of the Harry Potter series, believes that Harry Potter and Hermione Granger should have ended up in a relationship. True or false? 
Now, keep in mind, this is not your personal opinion, but rather that of J.K. Rowling. Hello, Jemmy, how you doing? Who got it right? We got four left. Critical moment, true answer right there. J.K. Rowling does believe that Harry Potter and Hermione Granger should have ended up in a relationship. There we go. You know this one too, nice. Let's see who got it. Down to two. My goodness. Julie. Julie, who could secretly bana be Bananasaurus Rex. Let's find out. How <laughs> would you know the answer to that? Actually, Creator Brian, you very well can create your own questions. In fact, if you want to go to uh, the submission page on masterofthegrid.net, uh, moderator, f please feel free to drop that link in the chat anywhere you want. Team Julie, oh, we got, a, we got a, a chat divided on masterofthegrid.net. Julie Girardi and Erwin Parrott are two remaining contestants. Let's start the next challenge. Roughly how many islands are there in the Indonesian archipelago? Wow. <laughs> 25 seconds. You got some time. Think about this one, I think. Oh my goodness. We got Team Julie and we got Team Erwin. Roughly how many islands are there in the Indonesian archipelago? Seven seconds left. GG indeed. <laughs> this one is this one is brutal as well. And the rough estimate answer is between 1700 and 1900 islands in the Indonesian archipelago. Let's find out who may have gotten within even a little bit. We have a winner. Erwin! Erwin Parrot everybody. Congratulations Erwin, the first victor of our first round of Master of the Grid. Well done, Erwin. Good job. You've earned yourself a cool thousand gritties, which you can use, of course, to purchase beautiful little caps for your beautiful little head. There goes the show. That was fun. <laughs> that was a good time. Your guess was literally 34. That's beautiful, B-Rex. Oh, man. So that's the first game. We'll play quite a few more here, guys. I'm going to play uh, 60 seconds of ads while we wait for the seating to uh, go through again. We'll be right back with more Master of the Grid right after this.